Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well and you're feeling fine. You're ready to continue our look at the 2013 Cayley paper. We're going to look at question number 10 in this video. Barry has three sisters. The average age of his three sisters is 27. The average age of Barry and his three sisters is 28. So the average went up by adding in Barry's age. I assume Barry's age is going to be above this 27. Uh, but we want to know what's Barry's age. Okay. How do we figure out averages? Um, let's, let's say Barry's age is B, and we've got uh, sisters X, Y, and Z. To find the average of, of their age, you add them up and divide by 3. And we know that that result is 27. I know, I don't individually know X's age or Y's, you know, Yolanda and uh, Zara, and I'm trying to think of a good X name. Or a girl. I mean, Xavier is the only name I'm coming up with, but that's a boy. It doesn't matter. So X, Y, and Z, we don't know their individual ages, but we can at least get this relationship because we know the average. Now, if we add in Barry's age, you take, how do you find averages? You add up all the numbers you're talking about, divide by how many numbers there are, and this time it's four. Okay. So these two relationships can be rearranged. This one here, multiply by three on both sides. You'll get x plus y plus z is 81, and now I can take that and plug it in here. See that b plus x plus y plus z is just 81. Yeah, I don't know x. Yeah, I don't know y. We don't care right now. I know that the x plus y plus z is 81. So b plus 81 over 4 is 28. Okay. And now uh, 4, to, it doesn't rearrange, so 4 times 28 going to be a little uh, 112 yeah and now subtract 81 and we get that Barry's age is 31 so Barry is 31 years old and that's going to be at the end e all right fantastic so there we go question number 10 part a all done uh so if we've gotten all that correct and by no means do we have to have but if we've gotten all that correct, then we've got 50 out of the total 150 marks. We're going to move into part B in the next video, where the questions are a little bit harder, but they are worth a little bit more. So I'll see you for question number 11 next time.